re-elect President Barack Obama. Amen. Now, I have the, uh, the privilege of, of working with the President. I'm looking forward to seeing him again tomorrow when he's uh, in Ann Arbor with his speech on education. But the, the work that I have done with him started when I was first elected to the United States Congress in 2008. I ran with President Obama at that time up in the Oakland County area, my district. And I'm proud to say uh, thanks to the President and all that he did. Uh, we were able, when I won, I was the first Democrat since 1893 to represent the district that I'm in right now. And it was a good thing that we elected the president. I saw his work immediately. As I came into office, and if we remember what happened, certainly the excitement of that election and everybody coming out to support the president, but we also know that we were in very rough shape. The economy was in a really a place that it was frightening. If we recall, as the president was uh, inaugurated on that very cold uh, January day, uh, we knew that there were some big storm clouds all across uh, this country. People were losing their jobs. The economy was falling apart as a result of what happened from the previous administration and George Bush and the Republicans that uh, basically drove this economy into the ditch, and it was very clear. In fact, as I was being sworn in, we were losing, at that time, over 700,000 jobs a month were being lost in this country. We need to remind folks that that is what President Obama walked into. It was a mess created by the Republicans. The one area that we know firsthand what really hit us uh, was with the auto industry and what, how close we were to seeing the auto industry collapse. And the reason the auto industry was in that trouble was because of all the greed that we saw on Wall Street that brought our economy to its knees and with that uh, manufacturing sector of the auto industry. Now, I will always remember, I, I represent the area up there with Chrysler, Chrysler's headquarters. As you know, I, Chrysler went through those tough times. Really a story that I will never forget. I was uh, up there as we were heading towards bankruptcy for Chrysler. It was a very scary time. We weren't sure what was going to happen to get those companies through. And I was meeting with uh, Mr. Nardelli, who was the CEO of Chrysler at that time, a lot of his key folks. And he said, he goes, Congressman, I want to be very, very clear. He goes, uh, we are heading towards bankruptcy, and in order for us to get out of bankruptcy, you need money. You need to have a lot of money, and there simply wasn't any money in the, you know, the capital markets were all in disarray. There wasn't cash available. And he said, he goes, we are literally three weeks away from me closing this company and just liquidating it. I won't be able to reorganize it. I'm just going to have to liquidate, put padlocks on the door, and lay everybody off. And, and, and I looked around the room. I think a lot of the folks hadn't heard their CEO say that in such stark terms that they were three weeks away from losing the, everything that they had built. And tens of thousands of people would have been out of jobs. And not just folks that work at Chrysler, but all the auto suppliers that supply Chrysler, all the other jobs related to that, whether you have a you know, a beauty salon or a restaurant, whatever it may be, all of those jobs would have just cascaded uh, through the area. And here I am sitting in Chrysler headquarters, and those of you who know that building <coughs> up in Auburn Hills, it is actually the second largest building next to the Pentagon. I mean, it's a massive structure. And I just uh, had this, uh, I had this, you know, this, this view of grass uh, growing in the parking lot uh, and people without their, their jobs. Uh, but uh, uh, we went back. Went to the President of the United States, said, you know, we not, the federal government needs to provide this money. And under a lot of pressure, you know, the President was getting unbelievable pressure from folks that said he should stay out, he should let those companies go down. But what did President Obama did? He said, I will stand with American workers and with American companies. investments in Chrysler, made that investments in General Motors, guess what happened? It was successful as well. All right. It was an incredible success story that the President had. The people are now back at work. They're paying back those loans, paying back that. Paying when all that back is what the President did. So it is a, an incredible success story. In fact, uh, there are still some people that don't see this as a success, even though the money is being paid back to the taxpayers, interest is being paid, 
and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have jobs today that would not have had jobs if it wasn't Amen. And that is why, that is why we elect a man who believes in the American workers and the American people, and that is our president, President Barack Obama. Yeah. primary, that mess over there. <laughs> but if it, is, if it is Mitt Romney, we know where he was. He said these companies should go down. He said, I'm not going to stand with these workers. And we know the kind of business that Mr. Romney does. He goes into businesses and basically strips out the company, lays off workers, uh -huh. and then he sells it off to make a big profit for himself, yeah. but leaves a trail of misery from families that now are without jobs. That is not who we want as a president of the United States. He will not stand up for the American people. He will not stand up for families, which is why this election is so important. You know, I also had the opportunity to work with him with another issue that I care very deeply about, and that was health care reform. And the president stepped up and said that in this country, every person in this country should have health care as a right. Yes. Amen. Everybody should have the ability to Everyone. have affordable health care. We took a lot of heat, and if you remember during those times, we had the Tea Party people out there and uh, protest. In my area, I've got a lot of Tea Party folks up uh, where, where I represent. Uh, and then they uh, were out there protesting outside of my office uh, all the time and telling me not to do it. And, and I have a tough district, because I mentioned, you know, I'm a district that didn't have a Democrat since 1893. Uh, and they were coming after me. Uh, and I actually uh, uh, had my consultants uh, in my congressional race, they said, they said, Gary, you know, if you, if you vote for this health care, uh, you may very well lose your election. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is a tough vote in a very tough district, a pretty Republican district. So I said, well, I'm going to read this bill. And I actually got in the bill and read the bill, and the more I read it, the more I liked it. Because yeah. it was about helping American people, making sure that health care is going to be there for all. And I'm proud to say that uh, even though they told me that I might lose my election, I said, you know, there's some things that are more important than elections. Amen. I'm saying I am so proud that I stood with President Obama and we passed the most comprehensive health care reform in generations in this country because of the president's leadership. But they're going to come at us, and there's going to be in a very, very difficult race here in 2012. This last election, they came at me with all sorts of money, spent fortunes, in fact, even in the last week, spent a couple million dollars in that last week. Uh, but the reason we were able to be successful is because we had people on the ground, we had people working, we had people knocking doors, and it is really about people power. And we know that this year they're going to throw a lot of money to President Obama, against President Obama. You're going to see all sorts of nasty ads, nasty misinformation put out. But I know if we all work together, this is about people power. And we can stand up to that big money and interest. We can make that difference. President Obama has stood with us. He has had our back in these last four years. It is time for us to have his back. We're going to get out there and we're going to win. And we're going to win. Thank you.